Hello, everyone. Okay, so we got dungeon level two. Enemies are deadly, are deadlier, are elites. I'm gonna try and get Ascension 2 on Defect and Silent tonight, see what we can do. Three combats, possible free elite. No possible free elite. Empowered elites on the left. Lose all gold. So 99 gold might be an option and just go up this route. Their HP is always nice. Survivor, get rid of the defend, double strike. Scaling up. 12, 18, I could do, but we're almost guaranteed to kill it next round anyway, so I'm gonna block the five I can. Not bad. Ship is nice. Uh, terror is great for bosses. What boss do we got? Slime. Not so great. Let's go for Shiv. Lock and Shiv. Blocking all the damage so far. Okay, this is where I want as much damage as possible. Eighteen. Can't do eighteen. Let's just full block. Nice. Free steroid potion. If I make a shiv deck, finisher can be great. This could be a one energy, like, damage. Who knows? Depends how much I can get shiv wise. This is not what I was looking for. Because we gave up our gold. Uh, so, question mark, elite, heal, yeah, that's, that's not bad. Strike, strike, finisher, fall damage, not bad. Uh, neutralize, I only have to block six. We can. Hmm. Random skill for zero is nice. Especially if I upgrade it, it becomes free. Oh, one minute. I forgot to close my door.
Yeah, the dishwasher was running, so lots of ambient noise. Ooh, this actually makes a uh, shop worth it. Uh, do we have one later? We do, but we lose an elite over it. I'm just going to take the base 100 gold. Okay, so... Not really anything I want to build my way up to, so... Probably fine to wake him this round. Let's not wake him. I should get finisher three rounds. Yeah. So if I neutralize finisher, 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 the decent opening hand. Okay, we'll cloak and dagger, like a shiv at him, survivor. Get rid of finisher and defend to block all. Not bad. Hmm. And block 10, but. I could also do 6, 12. Oh, that's 18, plus another 18. 36 damage? But I don't really have a way of healing, so. This is 5 plus 10, 25. Doesn't finish. God damn. It'll be a little over 25, but. Actually, I should have used the steric potion there. Now, 18 damage. Why? Oh, because I fucked up. That's fine. Ooh, question mark. Makes that really, really good. Clichettes could be good, but, uh, like flying me. So, I have a heal. This, these could t potentially be heals as well, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to smith first. Finisher is a good option. Free distraction, though, is nice. Means it's a free whatever level skill card I get, no matter what. Oh, let's hope for some block there. Oh. damage, but I want to finish this, yeah. Didn't want to deal with the 19 damage that was coming up. Fair plus is nice. One strength is okay, but... It's, uh... There, there will be a better item, so let's get our key now. We'll heal before the boss fight. Uh, 
Okay, well, not boss fight. Empower defeat. The end of its turn heals three. Fudge. That's a really shit. him dead and quick. That's nice. Three tools of the crate is good for getting rid of what I don't want, man. Okay. Neutralize, distraction, buying me, buying me is great because it means I might be able to kill him next round. Eight, sixteen, twenty-four. Yeah, he's dead. Thank God. He can get hairy real quick. We're not going for our poison deck. Or so far we haven't been. So let's just get our key now. Dagger spray is nice. Oh wait, we get both. Well. I guess free. Two random card upgrades is not worth the HP there. I'm gonna go just so I can go left. Oh, dagger spray is great here. It's our free. Enemy loses X strength. Apply X weak and exhaust. Minus three strength on this fight is great, but uh that do? Uh, let's try that too. I'm gonna dagger spray here. And this guy. Hey, J guy. How you doing? Hopefully doing good today. I'm just here chilling, playing Slay the Spire. We're gonna prepare. That's a lot of incoming damage, but uh, I don't think this is the turn to play Finisher, so. A flying knee, this guy. Double defend. Good, but sick? Why are you. Oh, that sucks. I hate being sick. This is the worst. Oh, the dazed. Ow. Yeah, that's not helping. There's a chance I die here. Deal with this quick, that is. Would have liked a more offensive hand. I'd like to apologize to you and Valent. I didn't get Monster Hunter. You don't have to apologize for anything. You're not withholding to do whatever. Wait. Uh, as much as I also like. Hemet, <laughs> one HP. Fuck. Uh, Valent's uh, donation, uh, I was talking to him earlier, and it's actually probably going to t go towards getting me Sekiro, which is a lovely game from what I've heard. 
Transform a card. Oh, well, let's transform a strike into something good, hopefully. Backflip. Definitely gonna rest so I don't die to the boss or attempt it. But yeah, so like, I'm probably not getting Gu. Uh, as much as I want to play Gu, at the same time, there are a lot of good games coming out. I'm gonna save Malaise. So. Dagger spray. Strike, strike, neutralize. Flying knee, this hand sucks. I need a really fucking good hand. Prepared. Eight. Fourteen. Plus. Ew, this is gonna suck. Eight, fourteen. Mm. Plus another eighteen. Well, oh, actually, no. Twelve. So, twenty-six does not split him. I am going to take this damage. <laughs> not good. Really, really not good. I don't know if this applies to when he splits, so... Oh, this is the worst split ever. I'm gonna die here. I am totally gonna die here. I've gotten really bad relics overall, like, for helping with the bosses. Uh, fudge. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally dead. That was a bad first run. But yeah, it sucks that you're sick, man. Being ill is never pleasant for anyone. Try that again, with feeling. Her gold can be nice. Where's my empowered elite? Our right hand side. Hmm. One, two, three. And take 3E with the empowered elite if I take the right hand side. Is there any store? Yeah, there is at the end. Okay, let's just get the extra gold. Won't come into effect until later, though. Take it and take the seven. Uh, neutralize, defend, defend, strike. Yeah, unlike the Ironclad, where I can just like cheese through because he heals every uh, fight, I can't do that on the silent. I have to be very careful with my HP, which I am really, really, really bad at doing. Move a card? Bad idea. Oh, crap. I shouldn't have actually clicked that. Because I didn't think it was a permanent choice. Note to self, don't click those because you can't back out of them.
Did I eat two damage for an extra six? Yes. I hate the jaw worm. The jaw. What is this hand? Oh my god. All the block, apparently. Gives me all the block. Uh, poison stab. This rate costs one less energy for each card discarded. Deal 18 damage. That can be good. It works in a Sneko deck, too. 14 damage if an enemy is poisoned is good, but we don't have a way of poisoning yet. Let's uh, start getting some. Take the money. I, so I got Stardew Valley, Rocket League, and Enter the Gungeon. Oh, those are some great choices, man. I'm not gonna lie, like, those are some really good choices. Uh, Stardew Valley I know is great if you're into the whole Harvest Moon type of game. Rocket League's a great, like, pick up and set down game. And Enter the Gungeon is just absolutely wonderful for all. Like, I played the crap out of Enter the Gungeon. I haven't gotten, uh... I haven't checked in, like checked out the Fall of Arms or whatever expansion that just came out, but uh, heard good things. Ooh, extra two energies, nice. So is Acrobatics Plus, though, if I get the chance to upgrade it. Okay, so we're going to poison stab. Gets rid of his artifact. Strike. Defend. Isn't this on switch? Uh, Slay the Spire? Uh, I don't know. I think it might be. And don't worry, I subscribed to your YouTube channel and just started watching old streams. Eh, feel free to watch them. Don't feel obligated to, but uh, I upload them there for a reason. It's one, for me to keep track of them, and two, for you guys to be able to watch if you miss something. No, they are fun. What, the uh, stream vids, or...? went back and watched old Smash streams to see how much I sucked back then. Yeah. Yeah. You can see, like, if you look at back at the starting ones when I'm playing, when I just picked it up, uh, I was not good. Oh my god, that's a lot of days. <laughs> oh, at least those are getting out of my deck. So much HP lost. Uh, can we can we stop with the days? Yep, been falling for that long. Nice. Three months is a long time, friend. So far, I stabilized it, 
So I'm not like hemorrhaging HP now, which is nice. But I'm not doing great. Whenever you obtain a curse, increase your max HP by six. Okay. That could be good. Pulls out Frappe and here's too many more. Get sprayed. <laughs> uh, yep. Uh, myself tonight, I'm drinking, uh, called Stewart's Black Cherry, uh, oh, wrong way. Soda, which is just wonderful. Had a craving for it for a while now. Uh, free damage, sure. I'm gonna heal before this empowered elite for sure. Remove a card, transform a card, upgrade. Upgrade. Uh, acrobatics plus is nice. Neutralize is also good. Free damage on that. Uh, poison stab is good. Let's go Poison Stab for now. Hopefully we'll get more sources of poison. Negate the next two curses would give me a free 12 HP. And I get to take whatever reward would be associated with those curses. So, get the Sapphire Key later, hopefully. Uh, that's a lot of damage, friend. Can you not? I take two damage. Yeah, I take two damage. Just so I can split them next turn real good if I can. Acrobatics. Get rid of that. And that'll split him. Could have been a better split. And I should have Mario Kart by Friday. Uh, nice. Uh, I believe we're doing... Salty Saturday this time around, though, so it will be the, uh, it'll be the Saturday that we'll be playing. Even better? Yeah. I alternate, I, I do, like, two Saturdays, then a Friday kind of thing. God damn. Good hand. Kind of. At least I still was able to full block the damage, but... little slime. Ooh, nice. Explosive. Rippling Cloud is super good. Okay. I'm gonna save that. Or do, am I? No, I'm gonna save it. I'll play it next time it rolls around, and it'll apply weak when he has a lot of energy. Gave him some strength, but blocks most of it. Okay. Not gonna give him more strength, so I'm just gonna eat this 16 damage. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna be worth it. Neutralize, strike. Don't play any of these, because that fucking sucks. That was kind of bad hand. Going poison. Slice. Strike. I'm dead. I wasn't paying attention. Well. I should have defended there. Even though it would have given more strength, uh, I would have at least lived. Bad start tonight. 
That's the way the cookie crumbles if you play poorly. Free HP? Any way I can get in the power to leap for free? No. Still. The HP damage I'm not going to take before the power to leap. Terror is great. Rain, golden idol, trigger a trap. Sure. Enemies drop 25% more gold. You know what? I'll take the damage. Because, well, why not? It's not like I'm going to take any damage for the next three fights. Flying cloud. And terror gives us a good amount of stuff. Nice. Free terror. Weak potion. And two free attacks. We have some poison, so we can get Bane if we want. So, terror. Crippling poison right away. Bane. Good start. Neutralize. Let's have a free attack here. Hmm. Survivor. Get rid of block, sneaky strike, strike, strike. I need to do 25 damage, and this hand is not gonna do that. That will do it though. Nice, way of healing, very nice. Plus the emerald key. It's like a 16 block in a way. <laughs> See, this would be really nice. I wish we could buy it, but we can't. Ghost in the jar is super nice if there's a oh shit moment. Thousand cuts is also good. I'm gonna take the ghost and jar. The second bane. Actually, yeah, cloak and dagger as well. You. Okay. Um, cards we want to get played out for sure. Terror. Okay, we're just going to end. We have three turns to cycle through before he wakes up. There's our terror. Now we want a really high damage turn. Uh, not quite. Still good damage, but not great. So neutralize piercing whale. Strike. Bane. Taking some damage, though. Okay, Crippling Cloud Bane does the chunkage. Neutralize Bane. Uh, 
Cloak and Dagger, Shiv, Survivor. We should have him next turn. Tiny chest. Upon pickup, gain 30 gold. 10% more likely to find treasures in the question mark room. That's good. Distraction's nice. So we have a lot of gold generation. Because enemies give gold. We got gold from that, and treasure question mark rooms are really valuable now. So. Bazaar's kind of crap, so we'll take the key. Thorns free. Damn, that's already paid off. We'll rest for now. Uh, now. I don't even have enough gold for a store, so I'm gonna go around here. Oh, I hate this guy. Neutralize. Survivor. Bane. Not bad so far. So we'll crippling cloud Bane. Piercing whale. Cloak and dagger. I can't play any attacks because I'm entangled, goddammit. There we go money. Uh, bouncing Flask is great, especially with Double Bane. Potions. Three power is nice. Uh, throwable weak is... These are just too good to give up. Well, this might be what uh, makes us use our... Ghost in the jar. Noxious fumes for free. So we'll crippling cloud and bane. Good start. And he's angry. Uh, weaken him. Bane him. Strike. Not gonna use defend here. I think I can kill this turn. If it wasn't for such a bad hand. Next turn for sure. Who did? Matryoshka. The next two non-boss chests you open contain two relics. Nice. That's good. Okay, plan's okay. We'll rest before the boss. This hexaghost can freaking hurt. Okay, early terror, that's great. Uh, rippling cloud is great. Neutralize Bane. Good start, good hand. 18 damage. No damage. Wonderful. He stabbed himself six times too, damn. Okay, distraction. Piercing whale. Bad, not bad. Bouncing flask for sure to stack up that poison. And defend to block most of it. Bane, strike, survivor. Neutral. 
Why is strike strike? Shiv in the spleen. Neutralize, defend, and Bane. Should be dead next turn. Oh yeah, he dead. Okay. So far we've got decent poison stacking capability, which might make Venom good. Keep on stacking up the poison. Belaze is super good. Lose strength, like they lose strength and weakness, so after image is also good. After image plus is super good. If you have a shiv deck or something. But we'll get malaise. Okay. Oh. I'm not immune to curses. I thought I was as the last run. I'm not immune to curses. Ring of the Serpent gives me an extra third card. Not so great. I need energy, really. I don't want the energy, though. The curses I can get rid of. I've got decent money generation, so I can remove them. Ripple lead on the left. Plus a store with a double lead if I only take two. Three bonfires versus just the two. Uh, no, I can get three. Yeah, let's head along this left path. Well, this is a p great place for crippling cloud. Escape plan. Neutralize. Bane. Strike plus. You're gonna do a fuckload of damage to yourself. Which is nice. Piercing Whale. Bane. Strike. Dead Bird. Well, those are both dead burbs. Power pot. Keep the damage, poison damage rolling, I guess. Uh, piercing whale, sure. Strike, strike, bane. This game is interesting. Yeah, uh, I'm a big fan of it. I played a decent amount of it on stream, but, uh, Basically, it's a roguelike card slash deck builder, which is super weird, in all honesty. I'm not accomplishing much this round, but that's okay. Oh, here's the poison damage. Uh... Not gonna play it though because, well, I wanted to take out his strength. There's my poison, strike plus. A random free skill for two damage. 
hate his metal is uh, plated armor. Basically, he gets however many armor he has for plated armor, but I can reduce that each turn if I uh, just attack him. But at the same time, it's easy just to stack poison because it ignores armor. So, like he dies this turn, even though he's going to get more armor, he'll just die to the poison. Double Bouncing Flask, okay. Sure. I'll take that. Uh, potato and a mushroom. Uh, okay, let's Bouncing Flask, see where that goes. That's a good spot for that. Don't really want to take the mushroom, so... Weaken him. Just so we take only 13 damage instead of 15. Hey. Oh, goddamn. Would have really, really liked a much more offensive hand considering all my stuff does double damage right now. Poison is stacking up, which is good. Um, bouncing flask. Let's see where that lands. Okay. He's already weakened, so is he. So the reason, by the way, I don't kill this mushroom first is on death, he makes me vulnerable, which means I take an extra 50% damage. So I want to keep them dying as close to each other as possible. If not, they both die on the same turn. So. Which is gonna happen here. Uh, weakness potion. Backstab plus. 315 damage. Okay. Okay, I think I just got clumsy. Just an unplayable card. Can't play it once. God damn it, banana peel. I get a pentagraph, so I heal 25 on boss fights, and I heal an additional 15 HP when resting. Both of those are good for keeping me not dead. Good hand. Um, we're gonna terror him. Backstab. Malaise would take away four strength and give him four weak. It's distraction first. That's kind of crap. Damn it. That's waste. Okay, so we'll malaise him down. Bouncing flask. Stacked poison. Damn. Wonderful. healing him. Pain in thy ass. Give double damage. Bend. Bend. Because I can. Can't play clumsy because it's a fucking unplayable with the real card, but it gets exhausted. We don't have to care about it now. Okay. Can I kill him this turn? He did. Start working on the mystic. Good. 
Deadly poison plus. More poison. Now, the only thing I'm missing from this is a catalyst. Decent opening hand. Not bad at all. Gonna take some damage, but... Okay, he's dead. Uh, lays for one strength and weak, but they're already weakened, so it'd just be removing one damage versus doing seven. I don't think this is the time to use my intangible. So much shit coming up still. be able to heal at the bonfire anyways. So we get a bottle flame. Upon pickup, choose an attack, start each combat with it. Okay. Got. Uh poison stab early is great. Getting a few too many cards there, I'm gonna skip on that one. Okay, first things first. Bumsy, get the fuck out of here. Can't be weakened when adding cards into your deck you may instead get HP. I think we pick up, uh... Oh, I don't want to sneeze. Budge. A duck. Sale. <laughs> yeah, the Masterful Strike is on sale, but it's only four... It's 40, but it's like... It's a free 12 damage, but if you take damage this... Uh, this round, then you can't... You... Like, it gets worse and worse to use as combat goes on. So, I can technically get both. But it doesn't really work with a poison deck. And the more cards you have, the longer it takes to get back to the cards you already have. So, like, that would be more time between me getting Bouncing Flask and stuff like that, so... I think we have another store somewhere. Oh, we have another store next. Like, literally next. Because this was a question mark store, so. Save the money. Uh, Bane is good. Otheosis is super nice. No way. And Venom can be good. Removing a strike might be a good idea to cycle my deck faster. Okay, what do we get in here? Curse. End of your turn, take two damage. That's really not good. And block, and I can. Whenever I rest, I get cards too, so. I'm gonna rest, get more HP, and. more poison? Okay. 
Okay, so we're gonna... We have four energy to work with here. Random free skill. Let's turn your next skill is played twice. Do we have any skills we want to play twice? No. That's unfortunate, so that's technically a wasted energy. I'm going to kill you. He dies. Poison. Poison. Strike. Good chunk of damage already ticking on him. So we're gonna Bane. Neutralize just for an extra three damage. He's gonna summon more minions. So we'll Crippling Cloud them. It also increases his poison. Piercing Whale, strike him. They can't do anything. They're just gonna hurt themselves. Okay, that's some uh, damage. That's with weakened. Holy shit, that's a lot of damage. Uh, also, I'm gonna take two damage this round. Uh, let's see where one of these flasks go. Not great. Flex tape. Uh, I could have double bouncing flask and hope it killed him. That's a lot of damage. Uh, 5, 10, 27, 37. I'm not dead. I'm not dead, but... I'm close. Run away, cowards. First time you lose HP, you get three cards each combat. Okay. 30 damage round one. Yes, I'll take that. Okay, we'll rest. Don't want to bloat our deck, so we'll take more HP. We're going to heal 25 HP at the start of the boss, I think. This is the pentagraph, so we can upgrade a card next round. Uh, we have a way to gain max HP, so this might not be a bad deal. But we already lost one of our strikes. But we end up guaranteed playing them like once or twice, which is no matter what better than the blood file. We are now a vampire. Why is ETG so freaking hard? What's ETG? Oh, enter the gungeon. Uh, because it is indeed a hard game. Uh, backstab. Backstab. Bouncing flask. Poison stab. Fight plus. And bite him for the heal. Yeah, it's hard because it's a hard game. It is definitely not an easy game. Uh, more HP. Okay, so I'm going to smith a card. Where's that? Uh... Poison stab. There, because we get it every turn, like, every time we start. You're back gonna get some food? No problem. Hello, Mr. Knight. Oh, 
block all the damage. 16 poison, 80 damage first turn. Not bad. Fuck, I hate this decay. Bane, distraction. I don't know if it cha does double on the chains. Yeah, it does. Okay. That was kind of a waste then. Budge. Ah, uh, that's a lot of armor. Good news is, I don't care. Poison. Poison solves everything. Nice. Terror out. Open dagger boss. Neutralize. I don't think I need to use my intangible potion here. My poison damage is stacking up nice and spicy. Okay, this is the perfect turn for malaise plus. Oh, just malaise. Twenty-four times two. Now is the time to drink my intangible potion. Also, he got rid of all my poison I was stacking. That's annoying. Well, good news is we should kill him before the next one happens. Yeah, 65 HP. He's got a decent amount of poison on him. He's dead next turn, but I'm gonna take some damage here. It's okay. Strength bot. Venom's okay. Get some after it. Ooh. Okay, Sneko Eye. Hi, how you doing there? Free bouncing flask sounds great, but at the same time, it doesn't work so great with my backstabs. Oh, Choker's okay. This is... Boss two? Yeah, this is boss two. So, I would get some value out of this. You now I'm going to do at least one elite, so extra, extra shit on elites. We'll take it. That is really right-hand side heavy map. Okay, uh... We would like some stores. So if I take this... Bonfire Elite, Bonfire this, up here to the store. Skip this Elite. Reason being, we're gonna get a curse here. We're already removing a curse here. It's gonna be expensive. Welcome back, J guy.
These guys are a pain in the ass. You gotta kill them all within two turns of each other. things. Okay, this guy's gonna die soonish. Bouncing flask, see where that goes. Okay, he's dead. That'll block all the damage. This guy's dead. I just need to kill him. I almost guarantee I'll get stuff to do that. Bite to heal, bite to heal. Uh, another Bane's not so good. Get more HP going. Remove. Okay. I think I'm going to just save whatever money I have left. I'm going to need it for back here. Speaking of money, perfect. Free money. Backstab, poison stab, backstab, neutralize, deadly poison. All damage blocked, 11. I just only have to do 25 damage? Can't do it, though. So, we'll just double defend. Fight. A little bit of healing, actually, on that fight, surprisingly enough. Okay. Our deck is uh, not so great for this fight. I'm gonna start stacking this and healing using bites. And weakness is great, plus more poison. Good news is if I can stack some poison early, it's good. This one's gonna hurt. 15 damage. Pain. Pain. Poison will move him down to zero. Neutralize. Bite. Distraction. Double is poison. Free Catalyst. I love Catalyst. It's the only thing I can do is poison him to death and hope I get enough to live. Boy. Oh, there goes the HP that I just got. I am still crawling my way back up HP-wise. Uh, we do have to make sure we get the last key of a bonfire. If we want to, for example, fight the final boss, the heart. I will do now. Oh, Rock boss, okay. Let's 
Very rough boss. I have four turns. Otherwise, it goes pretty hectic. to do so much damage. Oh, thank God. That's nice. Uh, okay. I might help, but... have a super offensive build it does not play out well time for some chill rocket league it's a good plan i'm not a fan of the the game myself i don't play it but it is definitely a good game i'm gonna be right back and grab a drink real quick seems difficult it's heart ish there's a lot of rng in learning of the game I can almost guarantee you'd get a free elite. I won't get the empowered elite this round, though. Okay, not bad. Uh, I have a store literally in front of me. So, yes, I will take that. Catalyst? 
and start building a poison deck. Done. He's a free dead. Free elite. First time you lose HP, you get that. Sure. Bane is great in a poison deck, so we're going for a poison deck. We have dagger spray, but... None of these are poison game. I swear to God, if they give me no poison. Ancient tea sets, nice. Power card healed to each. Okay. This is not good. I hate these bosses. These ones can get nuts real quick. Even if I'm taking 9 damage, with one of them dead, it gets much more manageable. Uh, neutralize doesn't do anything, but it does get rid of his artifacts. Strike. Okay. I need some poison, man. Bouncing flask. Dazed. Still too much dazed here, friend. Shovel, I can now dig for relics. Okay. No poison. Mm, who's our boss? Oh god, Hexaghost. That's a rough fight. Ah. Uh... Okay. First time I'm gonna take damage, it'll stop it. Neutralize, strike, strike, pain. This is a absolutely garbage chance of living. 
Hey, poison. Please stop burning me, Mr. Hexaghost. I have done nothing to deserve this. Except for maybe stab you. I'll be astounded if I live through this. Here comes his big attack. Uh, I would need to do 40 something damage. Yeah, that's not happening. Three times six, 12, 18, 18 damage. I'll live. Apparently. I'm alive. Well, risked it for a biscuit, and this will be very nice each round. That one potion that gave me the poison card won it for me. Bullet time can be super nice. Next skill is played twice. First Catalyst Plus. That has to be good. And there's a Sneko Eye. Early ish in the run. And Aura's box, get rid of all my strikes and defends. Uh, this is the safest route, is the strength route. Like, give them a strength and I'll get some energy. Eh, fuck it. Sucker for the Sneko Eye. All three cost cards are now super good. Those are empowered elite. Path doesn't look terrible. Neutralize. Six damage. Burst defend. Hope for a better next round. Free shivs. Sure. And dagger spray. any non-attack cards, so I don't want to play these. Especially because I already have the damage covered. That's a lot of damage, holy crap. Oh yeah, I have a buffer from the fucking Helix. I should have just attacked. God damn it.
Should have the kill next round, I think. Or not. Because of Sneko Eye, we have a potentially really good but volatile deck. hate this fight. I wish I had Melter or something. face. Okay. Sure, lag sweep. Why not? Three card upgrade. Uh, what's the best value here? Dash is good. Choke is okay. I think choke actually is pretty good. If I get it for cheap, I can and I get a bunch of zero cost cards because of Sneko, can do some really nuts damage. Okay, he's dealt with. So we're going to. Strike, strike, Bane. Stop giving. Oh, I hate this boss on this. Okay, we're gonna neutralize you. And we'll burst. And. And. Hey, look. Survivor. If I had any sort of poison, we'd already be pretty sad here. Oh, this is a shit hand. Huh. 
Stop healing, you son of a bitch. You are going to die next round. Good. This boss, well, this enemy is just a pain in the ass, and it's not even a boss or anything, it's just a normal fight. Oh! This is a sh right hand yet again. Free damage for them on me. Sneko Eye, you are not doing me any favors right now. You are definitely not doing me any favors right now. Holy crap. Curses, no. What do you got? More poison shit. Can I actually get some poison? Venom would work. Don't have enough money for both, though. Fuck. Bring some vulnerable potion. Wait, did I fight the empowered elite already? No, that's green. Okay, so we'll heal here. Which activates our T set, so we'll have an extra two energy first round. Ooh, and that's a... I don't know if it retains the copy energy value. Um, hmm. First nightmare. Fuck it. Let's see what happens with this. So we got. We should have two neutralizes next turn. Neutralize this guy. Uh, only get one block off no matter what. Not what I was hoping for. <laughs> Sucks. I hate Entangled. Feel bad. Probably gonna die to this elite. Metallicize they have is freaking driving me nuts.
Yeah, I'm gonna die. Jesus. Uh, Metallicize on all three of those enemies is a nuts boss fight. That really sucks. I had everything I needed for a good poison deck, except for poison. Possible and power to leap. <laughs> the chances of all three of these question marks being non enemy very rare. Um, not a bad thing, I mean. Right. Hey, look, there's our poison cards from the last time that we were getting. I don't want to remove any cards yet. More poison. Transform a strike. Thousand cuts. Ah, damn it. Oh, no free pa empowered elite for me. But we're still going for it. Is that increased metallicize? Well, let's get the thousand cuts out. That's gonna wake him up. Weaken survivor defend strike. Blocks all the damage and does some damage. Put stab, defend, defend. Poison stab, strike, neutralize, survive. Slowly would have them down. Not bad. Empowered Elite, this isn't that bad. <sighs> Whenever I get a curse, I get some max HP. Okay, not the best, but Infinite Blades is great with thousand cuts. Thousand cuts plus is a good idea. Or infinite blades plus. Should probably figure out where I'm going from here. Uh, I can go left. Couple question marks. Yeah, we'll go left here. Oh, no. Fuck. Meant to play out Survivor. Trying to put it back. There's two damage I didn't need to take. Hmm. 
me my gold back, you bastard. Flying knee is nice. I'll take the sapphire key, screw the mango. Cuts plus, putting in its work. Deal five damage if the enemy has weak gain energy and draw a card. That's basically free. And more cycle is good with thousand cuts. Blades, neutralize, strike. Thousand cuts, survivor. Might go for the split this round. Yeah. Good split. 16. Could be nice. Not great. Happen upon a group of what looks like purple fire spirits. Spirits toss small bones and fragments into the fire, which brilliantly erupts each time as you approach. The spirits all turn to you expected. Offer something, and I get a reward. Hmm. Give this rarer unload card. It's not great, so. Max HP, plus 10. And you're fully healed? Oh, ho, ho. nice. That's really good. That means I can probably smith before Hexaghost. I was hoping to get uh, the thousand cuts and stuff out, but. Oh, he's enraged now. Oh, it's only when he plays skills. Powers are fine. Do that to take the damage. Yes. Playing the cards just to do the damage, and so I can finish them this round. Doesn't matter if I give them a bit of strength if I block enough, and yeah. Normal enemies drop an additional card reward. Okay. Uh, do that. Give me a well, That's not bad. Hello. HP. Hmm. That's kind of nice, but not great. Whenever an enemy dies, transfer any poison it has to a random enemy. Jesus, that could get spicy. 
I think the healing is nice. Take our pillow and leave. Uh, do I think I'll kill Hexaghost in time? I think I can. I'm gonna smith infinite blades, make it innate so I can get it out early. Option. Neutralize plus is super good in the form of weak as well. Makes heal hook more likely to be free. Bit of poison early, okay. I like my neutralize plus. I got first thousand cuts neutralize plus. Deflect, shiv. Heal looks free. Div. Flying knee. I just need to defend once and strike. Div. Flex. Great. Uh, we can play out the. Oh, fuck. Play out the whole hand, probably. So block all damage. Doing good damage myself. Take it. Ah, uh, shiv. Neutralize. Poison. Strike. 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 Defend. Dunking away. Neutralize. Shiv. Poison. Double defend. have him this turn. Heal hook for free. Div. Strike. Flying me. He's dead. Nice. Really good Hexaghost fight. Ooh, double thousand cuts. Do we go with this? I can technically be doing four damage per card. Ran all of the random cards. That might work out. That might be bad. Might end up with no defense. Ah, uh, fudge. No longer get potions after what I have, which is kind of poo. I think I go for Pandora's box. Got acrobatics, a maneuver, tools of the trade is nice. After image is nice. Whenever it's basically the thousand cuts of block. Uh, masterful strikes. Okay, okay, okay. I think. Right hand at bath has a lot of question marks. What is that left? Holy crap. Yeah, I think we just take this full left bath. Ooh, it's a potato. Neutralize the potato. Oh shit, should have a thousand cuts first. Uh. Just gonna block the damage for now. 
Okay. Take three damage, but that's okay. Looks like Pandora's box was so, not so forgiving with the, the given guards. Yeah, I agree, Rodasa. I hope that's how you pronounce her name, by the way. Jesus, Masterful is garbage right now. Also, welcome to the stream. As you can see, I'm doing okay. Like, I have double thousand cuts. Which... It does some damage. Especially in non-1v1 fights. Shivs? More shivs! Need more shivs. And more draw. Yeah, but it'll cost a lot of mana. Yeah, I know. It does. It costs like two each. Okay, what do you got, Goblin? Double time neutralize. I would like an extra neutralize. Security is okay. Okay, I'll take that. I can't remember where that was. I thought it was there. Okay, so I got purity and... Oh, an attack. Exhaust three cards. So this makes it so I can get rid of shit if I don't want it. For free. Hmm. Five potions, not so good. Hmm. Is there anything I want to remove from this deck? Like, I like the poison, but at the same time, I, I, I'm going for cycle here. If I'm going for cycle, putting, getting rid of some of these cards might be an idea. I don't have much in the way of block. At all. Anything in here for block? No. <sighs> Do I have any shop later on? Potentially, but not really. Huh. It costs so much energy, though. Can I even justify the cost of that? I think a zero cost power mystic nature is good. Huh. Heal hook. Played the outmaneuver first. Fuck. Oh, I might only take one damage. Hey, Valent. How you doing? Thank you. 
knock the bird down, kill this bird. Don't know why I even bothered doing that. I'm gonna kill, knock this one down next round. Budge. I think I kill this bird then. Oh, it's dead. I can't full knock him down. I couldn't get three attacks. This is the stream schedule for tonight? Uh, it's in Discord. You're part of the Discord. You should know this shit by now. Uh, it is, uh... Slay the Spire tonight. So the plan is, uh, I'm trying to get a, uh, a heart slash. So I'm trying to get a heart win, if I can. I'm also trying to get a, ooh, backstab. Uh, and I'm trying to get a win on defect as well on level two. You expect me to read things. Uh, I expect you to read music. Backflip's nice. Block. Or block. But don't die. Mystic nature, after image plus. Backstab. Oh, it attack. I was hoping that one wouldn't go away. But block them. How are you doing tonight? Okay, we got everything played out we need except the thousand cuts here. Oh, there's thousand cuts. Doing well, had a friend, had to drive a friend of mine around to the crisis having. Uh, that sucks about the crisis portion, but outside that, that's pretty good. Damage once I start getting the powers up is good, but... Ah, uh, don't need heal hook. God damn your healing. Uh, okay. Thousand cuts plus shiv neutralize. Pull out attack. Back. This music seems oddly happy for what's happening. I wouldn't call this happy music. Anxious, maybe. Shivs, shivs. I have many shivs. Heal on the left. I want to upgrade that second thousand cuts, but I don't at the same time. Well, this is the perfect place for an explosion potion. 
thousand cuts, an eight backstab to kill him, neutralize to. Yes. Fudge. I fudged that up. Uh, oh, I'm taking four damage for it. Miscounted how much would be done. Hoping he would be dead. Okay, you're gonna take some damage here. Okay, we'll get rid of one of these. Play our second thousand cuts, play after image. Cool, sadistic nature. Play dance for more shivs. Chivs. Chivs. Give him in the face. Flying knee to the face. Poison stab to the face. Do you send, sense a trend of his attacking the face? Run away. War paint. Upgrade two random skills. Play dance, so I get three shivs and poison. Okay. You cannot draw additional cards this turn, but reduce the cost. That is good. That can make it so I could possibly play both thousand cuts immediately. This is not this situation. Uh. After image plus backflip block stab him Attack, neutralize, flying me, poison. Suffer. Now, whenever I play a non-attack card, I be card, I become dazed. I'm gonna finish this quick enough. I hopefully don't care about the dazed. Blocking most of the damage using acrobatics, which actually works pretty well. Fuck, I fucked myself. I should have played the heal hook first. Shit. And I did it again. Didn't need to. Take that damage, but I took it. Those are crap. That can be good if drawn with the card I just picked up. Testing, I can get more cards. My deck's pretty beefy already. Do I want to take damage for reading this book? No, I don't have the HP. Oh, I wish I could buy that insect. Mm. 
Nah, none of this is that great. Oh great, a malleable plant. Tools of trade. Third plus. Poison can go away and play dance. Three blurs, nice. For non elite, you're pretty fucking beefy. I'd like you to stop. Thousand cuts, neutralize, after image plus, play dance. HP. Oh, great. The book is stabbing. I'm going to drink this. Okay, I'm barely alive, clinging to life. damage I have one HP I'm pretty sure I have no HP yep I have no HP Rough runs. Been brutal tonight. I've had some good ish combinations, but nothing like really sticks out. Let's try and get a defect run in. Dead. Maybe I'll have better luck. What the fuck is it? What? This? 
Or this. Which are you, which one? Both. Uh, one is a cyborg-like thing with cracked core that funnels off of energy. And this is Neo. N-E-O-W. He's a whale. Creature thing. I don't know. I recommend not questioning it. Oh, cool. Free max HP. Uh, so this left path looks nice. Double, triple leet. Damn, that's gonna hurt. Could be good. So the way the defect works is you have orb slots, you have orbs which channel at the end of the round. So for example, this one does three damage passively to a random enemy, or if I evoke it by getting it to shuffle to the right, it does eight damage to a random enemy. So you channel different orbs and they have different effects. So I have two lightnings. No matter what, I'm taking five damage, so I might as well just kill him. Do extra to that. Things like dual cast can evoke orbs, so this does 16 damage. Another couple. Pretty cool. I like the defect. He's fun. Scrape is good if I can make a deck. Give it a shot. Capacitor here and focus on frost orbs? That's eh, possible. That might have been the better choice, to be honest. I, I'm not the greatest at figuring. Oh dear, this is gonna hurt. Um, don't want to evoke these yet. I want the passive damage. I'm, I know a friend has been having a decent success with a claw build. So I'm curious to see what will come of it if I try doing one of these. Uh, you dead. Strength potion will take a speed just for the dexterity. Um, all lightning's good. Or lightning generation. Heal. Be later. Ooh, nice ball lightning pluses. I do have a heal before the empowered elite, and this would net me some money. Also, I'd just lose gold anyways. Claw decks only need two cards, all for one, and claws. Maybe a hologram? Uh, I've... Yeah, I've also seen Rebound be used for claws. Do I wanna... I'm, this is, bag of marbles is actually pretty good, especially for an opening hand. Hello, knob. Ball of lightning. Also, unfortunately, vulnerability does not do anything against dual casting, so. Not bad for a first round. Strike, strike. That. I'm gonna take the damage for an almost guaranteed kill next turn. Yeah. Just so that way I didn't have to. Turn up. No longer become frail. Got the Emerald Key, a Focus Potion. There's Rebound. So we can rebound Claw, technically, if we get Claw. 
I really hope we get Claw, because otherwise this deck could get weird real quick. There's go for the eyes. Nice. Oh, actually, early genetic algorithm. Nice. Okay. If we play that every time we can from now on, we'll have a really strong defense later. Move cost is always 50 is good, but... That could be the difference between buying a relic. Do we think we're going to get a better one so we need to get the sapphire now versus later? Removal for 50 is just too nice, especially because it keeps getting worse and worse. Oh god. Hi, guys. Yeah. Damn it, I was hoping not to go past Bull of Lightning there. I feel like going for a strategy and being committed to it from the beginning is usually a bad strat. Yeah. I've been finding that as well. That, like, if I choose something without the cards necessary to do that strategy, I often have a bad time. So that that does relatively match up with what I've been finding, so I fully agree on that. Well, at least with one of the artifacts down, we won't take as much uh, dazing. Yeah, I find I uh, I put myself in a bad scenario a lot of the time, where I'll uh, I'll attempt to do some sort of build from the relatively the beginning based off like one or two cards I've gotten, which does not often work out well. Oddly smooth stone, extra decks. Okay, that's nice. Streamline's an option. A charge battery's nice. Of course. Well, ball lightning for sure. Charge battery for extra energy next round. Before he enrages. I want to play genetic algorithm, but I don't want to give him strength. So this will be 16, 19, 26, uh, that'll also put him up to strength. Jesus, this is, this is a real shit show on this one. I'm just gonna let him do this. Do I bother channeling, channeling an extra lightning? Two extra damage. Yeah. Might be able to finish it this way. Rebound. Ball of lightning. Strike. Yeah. Good. That eh, could have got sketchy. Resting gets card. That's not bad. Ah, uh, multi-cast sweeping beam. Hmm. Rebound streamline is not a bad idea. We have the capability. We lack AoE, though. We do. We absolutely do. Sweeping beam, I think, is a good idea. 
Multi cast would work with lightning if I had something like electrodynamics, but I don't. I'm still super early, so. Sweeping beam is draw plus damage, so. Oh, god damn it. Get away from my money, you bastard. I need that for relics. Uh... Pile driver, we don't have any unique orbs. We're definitely at a deficit for that. Barrage is okay. Yeah, I should have taken Capacitor at the very beginning. I absolutely should have with the cards they've given me. Like, yeah. Thank God I have Sweeping Beam. Gonna take one damage for the guaranteed kill the next round rather than taking way too much. Magic algorithm. Get stronger each time. We want to get that cast as many fights as we possibly can. Hell, I wouldn't have minded upgrading it, but... At the start of your turn, add a random power. That can be super good. Or terrible. Sorry, punch the mic there. I need... Uh, I would need more energy. Fusion is okay in its orb generation, but and energy gen, but... I don't know. We're on Ascension 1, and Elites are relatively safe. Yeah. You were being relatively... They're not very safe to me. That's for sure. We have three pots. Yeah, well, two of them are thorns, though, so. Let's go for the energy. I think that's the right call. Being able to play out more cards would be a good idea. Uh, What's boss? Hexaghost. I don't feel comfortable with 18 HT HP going into Hexaghost. Gonna rest. Self repair is nice. A way of healing each combat, as long as I don't take more than seven each combat. That's pretty nice. Okay. Early fusion. Zap gives us an extra energy to work off of. Creative could easily turn in a wind condition. The horns are very good for the heart and hexagos. Yeah, because he does like six attacks times four. So like chugging these will do six damage time to I'm six to him. So yeah, they're super good. Um. I actually am getting a genetic algorithm here early. So that's 24 damage. Self repair. Dual cast strike. Yeah. I'll lose some HP, but so does he. Okay, ball of lightning. Charge battery, ball of lightning. That gives me two energy. I don't want that yet. I'm gonna strike, strike here. I know I can get more damage out, but I want that energy for evoking it when I need it. Sweeping beam. Oh, we got a strike. Defend, defend, strike, strike. Not 
bad. Oh, I wish I could get rid of that burn. Um, we can just play out our hand here, but do we want to rebound Ball of Lightning or rebound Charge Battery? I'm going to rebound Ball of Lightning, Charge Battery, Defend. We're getting closer to the end, so I want to start nuking down on HP a bit more. Well, Hexagos is a DBS fight, so pushing for damage should be the right call. Yeah, exactly. Which is currently what I'm doing. Ah, uh, 14 damage. Ooh. Okay. That hurts, but... Zap, then strike. Alive, and he is dead. Okay, what do we got? Hmm. This turn, your next power card is played twice. That could be double self-repair. So healing 14 in a battle. Option. That would have been great with uh, creative AI. Rainbow is a way to get some orb gen. Be cast is good. It would also be a way to get frost. Hmm. Problem is the shit's all over the place. Like there's definitely no set idea. A way to get dark is also nice. I think we should skip. You think it would bloat the deck too much? Yeah, that's possible. This is expensive. Multicast is okay, but not great. Like, unless I had something like Electrodynamics, it wouldn't work very well. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, skipping. Like, the chance of getting Amplify and Self-Repair in the same turn, plus that's two energy. Very small. Skipping, actually, I agree with. Ah, uh, let's see. Yeah, I agree, Rotus. Colonel Feather's okay. But we don't have a very high deck yet. Choker's good, but I'm not so good at playing under six cards. I could. I think either Choker or Inserter in this case. I'm water. Yeah, Inserter's great. Uh, it's especially good if I get something like, uh, oh, I can't remember the card. It nukes a orb slot. It takes out an orb slot and then, uh, gives you focus. Consume, yeah. What is this shit? We're all on the left here. Game, please, what are you doing? Um, hmm. Got a good amount of money. Stop at the store, plus these two question marks would be good. Elite, oh, oh my god, that's a lot of elites without healing. We do have self-repair, though. We could try removing since they are only 50 gold every time. Yeah, that's true. Um, let's see... We could go up that way and take the elites. We could also technically go up this beam here, taking the two question marks and only taking two elites rather than triple. Actually, we can only take two elites. No, we can take... Yeah, no, we can take two or three. I think this store path is the right idea, though. Head up along this. Oh god, birds. Why birds? Okay. 
can take three but we should see yeah exactly that's my thoughts we can always look and change our path a little bit later depending on like the vantage but so i have potentially three attacks i can maim a bird only 15 damage though I'm not going to be able to knock one down. Yeah, 10 if you make one fall, 6 if I don't. And the question is, which do I rebound? Rebound... Scrape is useless right now. Removing Scrape would probably be a smart decision right now. Uh, rebound, Strike, Defend, I think. Actually, rebound, defend, plus, so I have defend. Oh, did you ever play three ultimate? Uh, yes, I did. I played three ultimate. It was good fun. I'm going to defend plus... Strike? Dual cast. I don't want to lose my lightnings yet. I enjoyed 3 ultimate. Uh, the Cetus fight was interesting. There's my uh, repair plus. Uh, 8 block. Battery. Oh dear lord, that's 25 damage. Can I make a bird die? You remember what uh, Abyssal Laggy's armor gave? No. I don't remember that. What is 3U? Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. Uh, Sweeping Beam? Yes. Attic algorithm, yes. I'm going to knock down the bird here. That way I only have to deal with this. Hopefully he even dies from these. Not quite what I wanted, but it's okay. It was a game on the Wii U and 3DS primarily. Yep, you're correct, Valent. You got that one right. Uh, charge battery plus is a lot of block and energy, but a form of vulnerable would be nice, though we're doing a good amount of our damage through orbs, so... Don't really have an energy problem, per se. I think in charge battery plus. Keeps our blockage going. Skipping might also be a decent option too. Hmm. Ah. Free upgraded card is pretty nice. Card should be good. Yeah. Glad I picked that. Yeah, so like here, for example. Uh it's also super nice because I also have an oddly smooth stone, so extra dex at the start. A little bit of extra block. I'm going to rebound. Ball of lightning. Charge back. I want to play out genetic algorithm, but it's a bit early in the fight. Uh, sweeping beam, see what we draw first. Ball of lightning, strike. There. Okay. I'll put a dazed in my deck, but that's okay. Actually, didn't do the math there. 6, 12, 15, 18, 21, plus, well, 
Actually, 18. 16. Uh, we would have been one damage short of killing it. But what we can do is this and just kill him. Just to avoid the damage. Don't we have lethal? Lethal what? Rebound could be an option. Oh, enough damage to kill him that turn? No, we are one short, which is why I used the pot. Uh, we're 32 damage if I did a attack, well, two strikes and one of the others. Uh, this just seems... I could hologram... Back a like ball lightning plus or sweeping beam or charge battery. Holgrim with the genetic algorithm? Uh doesn't work. Uh genetic algorithm is exhausted when used, so it doesn't go in your discard pile. Dual cast is okay with it. Free dual cast would be nice if we could do it. If I mean, if we don't play it that turn. Oh, 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 oh! I see. Okay, so hologram in case we huck it into the discard pile, and then be able to play it later near the end of the fight. That's a fair. I agree. That's a good idea. Um. Ooh, focus at the start of combat is nice. I'm gonna dip out. Okay. Chaos Gormagala. Oh, damn. That's gonna be fun. Thanks for watching, uh, Valent. The first thing's first. Grape, where the fuck are you? Get rid of that. We do not need it. Oh, I want Melter. It's so good on some fights. That one fight where the one has a uh, barricade is so good. Cool headed is on sale too. I think we should go for frost orbs. An option. I can pick up both. Actually, I can pick up all three technically. Melter is just so good for those one situations where like the monster has a bajillion block and you're just like, you got nothing, bitch. And then you continue. I think those are safe choices for sure. Um, do we have another store later? Potentially. We still have a good amount of gold. 10 HP is nice. Or a full heal. The waffle's not bad. Under gold for 20 HP is a lot. Yeah. Yeah, it is, considering I only... Uh, actually, even only for 15. I'd get 7, I guess. Got the two elites coming, though, so the HP would probably be put to good use. Could also pick up uh, like a plated armor pot or strength pot. Strength is almost definitely. Not. We could get a pot to be safe. Yeah, yeah, that was what I was thinking. Like essence of steel would work for a nice little chunk of defense, but not spend all our gold. So slavers. Oh, don't remind me about the fucking slavers. I hate those things. And there's yeah, there's a chance they're there. 
Hey, let's grab an artifact bot. We'll see how it goes. So, I don't think I immediately need anything removed. And it's 50 gold at a shop. Two out of three chance of getting them. Okay. That's one thing I know uh, I don't have a good grasp on is how... How often they show up or what the ch how many different ones there are. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. Apparition. Okay, I'm gonna mull that one over while I grab another drink. One minute. Pretty different per act, but if you take the burning elite, there's a chance that elite would, would be the same. Okay. Huh. Intangible is so good. It's literally a get out of jail free card on hyper beams, on anything that's not multi attack. But losing most of my HP. And the chance I draw into these five apparitions plus the bloat in my deck. I don't know if that's the right decision. Plus that would put me down to like 40. 40 HP double elite plus a neutral fight. Yeah, and they have to be used the turn we get them, otherwise they exhaust because of ethereal. Yep. I do not think that is the right decision, and I'm going to bypass those. Oh, great. It's a book of stabbing. Um, God, how I hate that. Let's drink one of these. Free fusion. Free... Double fusion? And could also take darkness and let it sit there for several turns and then channel it. Well, evoke it. But aggregate's definitely not the right choice. Inserter makes it really hard to evoke it. Yeah, that's true. Let's go fusion then. Free energy, then. Um, why cool-headed fusion? No. I think I might cool-headed self-repair defend. And cool-headed will draw a card. So we're, we're playing this no matter what. I guarantee that. Rebound. Okay. Gonna gain an orb slot next turn. So maybe self repair, defend to block one of the two stabs. Oh, yeah, plus our orb slot. Okay. Uh, sweeping beam. Charge battery can't be wrong. Ball of lightning. Zap shuffles us, plus evokes that one. Getting stabbed, I don't like the wounds. Um... Ball of lightning, dual cast the frost, 
defend? I can play out the whole hand, technically. Is there anything from our discard pile we would like? Could hologram into cool headed. Yeah, that's an option. That'll shuffle this for energy wise. Just do that. Cool headed. Dual cast. All lightning, defend, double strike, blocks all the damage, and gets an extra 12. Not bad. Hey, J guy. No worries, I understand that. Uh, for sure. Being sick sucks. Uh, so the ears are genetic algorithm, so that's 12. And a rebound. Charge battery plus. Ew, that's a lot of damage. I don't like you. What is your character? Th my character is the defect. Uh, he's basically a robot with a cracked core. He's kind of had a bad day. Uh, he basically gets these little orb slots, and you can put an orb in them based on your cards. They do damage passively at the end of your turn, or give you block or other things, and then evoking them, so getting them to the very front, and then sh pushed off, or using a card to evoke them, does whatever their effect is. So lightning does extra damage, whereas frost does extra block. Um, double charge battery is kind of tempting. Actually, double charge battery dual cast just gets played out anyways. A little bit of damage, but okay. Cool headed. Fuck. Another wound. God, I hate the book of stabbing. Defend, strike, and fusion. I also have an, a relic that uh, every time I get through two turns, I get a new orb slot, so. Let's ball of lightning, ball of lightning, and you'll be dead. Future card rewards have one additional card. Cool. Hmm. This could be nice. Candle of Dark. It gets stuck in the queue, doesn't get cycled. Whenever I play it again, that can be played yet again. It's also very nice that you don't have to play with Orb. Yeah, I agree. So are you gonna play Cuphead and Hollow Knight 2? Uh, do you mean Cuphead 2? Is there going to be a Cuphead 2? I don't know. Uh, uh, Cuphead itself, I have played part of, but I never finished. Uh, Hollow Knight 2 for sure, I'm going to play when it comes out. I'm actually going to replay number one on stream eventually. No so Cuphead port to Switch. Uh, didn't plan on it. I have it for PC, so if I was going to play it, I'd play it there. Really tempted to take this Darkness. Darkness Plus, even. I think they announced a deal. I'm just gonna take this. Uh, I think they announced a DLC for Cuphead. Nice! Okay, that's some damage. Fusion... Charge battery. Plus. This is gonna hurt. I don't like these guys. Their damage is poo. Bringing the full port slash game to Switch. Yeah. It has sw split screen co op, which is. Oh, wait. It has split screen co op? How does that work for Cuphead? Okay, let's get 
Rebound plus darkness. So that goes back in. Sweeping beam. Darkness. And ball of lightning. <laughs> so lady of the spire is gonna be on it too. Yeah, absolutely. Which is pretty good. Um I don't know if I want to play this. I don't know if I want to play this. Fudge. Uh, is hologram an exhaust card? Yeah, it is. Okay, so I don't have hologram anymore to pull genetic algorithm back. So I'm hosed on that. I'm not going to evoke that. I need that extra energy. This is when I want genetic algorithm. Perfect. Uh, so that's 14, 17. They're still going to do some damage. So I'll defend. Strike. Nice. I just need to evoke these and they just fucking die. Uh, oh, perfect. Goodbye. Okay. I'm also excited for Castle Crashers in the Zelda Dungeon-esque game. Think? I'm excited for new games in general as they come out. I'm looking forward to uh, Sekiro. I'm going to be doing that on stream later on too. I'm not sure when I'm going to start that. Hey look, there's my claw. God damn it. I like Rebound Plus. Reinforced Body Plus is good too. Recursion. If I move a dark into the right spot, that's really fucking good. That is really good. Okay. I don't, I don't think that would ever be... Hey, hey, hey fuck you. Hate the slavers. Uh, okay, Charge Battery. Darkness plus. I don't want. I'm. I. I need this energy, so I'm gonna play charge battery again. I didn't know that game had so much hype around it. I knew. Thought it was a Japanese game going to America. What game are you talking about? Akira. Uh, this would be a good time for genetic algorithm. Ball of lightning. Yeah. Evoke that. Shuffle this to the front. So if I can dual cast that as it grows, it'll be pretty good. Last guy should be the priority. Why is that, uh, Rodas? Rodasa. I'm gonna die if I don't. How? Okay, someone needs to die. Fudge frail. This is a problem. How can I solve this problem? Can I solve this problem? I don't think I can. Since it gives the debuff of not being to attack. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Well, that was what the artifact potion is. I had for, was for. Also, yeah, he's the guy with the net, right? Could try to fish for dual cast. Yeah. Let's 
That works. That does indeed work. Just barely, but we're alive. Oh, thank God. Okay, uh... Can I play this out? Cool. Ooh, I like the anchor. Extra 10, uh... Armor at the start. What do we got? Go for the eyes. Rebound, multicast, steam barrier. I don't think any of these are... Oh. Multicast is an option. If we can shuffle a dark orb that's relatively high powered into the front position and multicast it with a four energy evoking that's that's pretty good risky but good yeah it's pretty situational i do agree uh with my current hp i'm thinking we go up here heal store question marks up to the boss I don't think we're taking this elite, or this elite. It just leads to too many fights. Scene barrier's okay. An eight block for free. We have a lot of gold for the shop. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, so taking those elites, even if I did take those elites, that means I would lose out on the shop, which, well, we want. Especially because we're fighting the gut. Oh, I hate the knight. The pain in the ass. Um, I kind of want to pick this up, but... And we really need those frost orbs, otherwise, uh, inserter is turning into a curse. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I think I'm gonna skip. Let's see, what do we got? Three attacks, get a strength, or sapphire keep. <sighs> I think this is the time we take our sapphire key, because, well. Gherkin's not so great. Strength is. Not our main source of damage. We're not playing three attacks constantly, if at all. Uh, do I bother healing yet? If I heal now, there's a chance that I get a full heal in these two question marks. There's also a chance I die to this because of it. Hmm. There could... I don't think there could be a waffle in here or anything that'll give me a full heal, so... I think it's a rest time. There's a chance of getting three fights in a row. Yeah, exactly. There's also that, too. That yeah, rest is definitely where we're going here. Cool headed plus. More frost. And more draw. I can't see that being bad. Okay. Uh, I wish I could afford the Helix Fossil or the Calipers. That would be nice. Old Snap's good. I love Fission. At least Fission Plus. Evoke all orbs. Calipers would have made this run so easy. Uh, I don't have enough, uh... Oh, I, I charge battery. Yeah, yeah, I'd have enough block. If I got a bit more frost, calipers would definitely make this. Ah. 
I don't think meal ticket is worth it. Especially this late. Bogus potion's a good idea. Ever saw anybody take that relic? The uh, meal ticket? Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. It's 191 gold for a possible 15 HP heal as you go. Focus potion, cold snap, and remove maybe a strike? Yeah, that sounds good to me. I can't think of anything better with what's here. What do we got? Duplicate a card in my deck. Double recursion's nice. Cool headed plus. Genetic, since it's 20 block already? Eh, that's an option, but the problem is if I get a second genetic algorithm, they're both leveling separate from each other. I guess it's like an oh shit button. This is more orb cycle, though. Darkness. More darkness plus. Just cast all the darkness. Just cycle it around. That would be nutty. But very situational. And not very safe with our current HP. That might get us the win, though. Depending, recursion can be like a darkness plus in the way that it evokes it and then channels another. Oh, wait, no, this triggers the passive. Yeah, double darkness plus is good. I'm gonna try it. I might die for it, but I'll try it. Oh, dear lord, burbs. Fuck, I hate burbs. Don't get drunk. Uh, hey, J guy, here's the problem with that. Last I knew, soda is non-alcoholic. <laughs> I'm not gonna get drunk on that. I wish I could, but I have no booze in my freezer. Get self-repair out of the way. Don't get drunk on this game. Ah, cool headed plus. Okay. There's our darkness. Zap recursion will get me some block. And shuffle my darkness forward. Okay, genetic algorithm. Ball of lightning. Ball of lightning. I want to kill this one. Damn it. Rebound. Darkness plus. Could mostly kill one of these. The chance of it not dying is like... Yeah, let's just block and hope that the lightning finishes it. Good. Perfect. Okay. Uh... 
Charge battery. Sweeping beam. I don't want to take any damage here, so I'm just going to defend and uh, darkness again. It'll die eventually. Me not taking damage is more important than rushing through the fight. Uh, uh, Reprogram is a maybe. But I don't think so. No, my deck's pretty bloated. 25. It's gonna be a skip for me. Oh, great. One malleable plant. Um, bulb lightning strike. Cold snap, cool headed. Defend puts me at six. Uh, 12? That's not much. Fudge. Uh, should I just drink the potion? But I probably am gonna need the focus for the boss. We can rest. Yeah, I know we can rest. As if we live through this. Um, cool head plus. Damn, I was hoping for genetic algorithm. Just still somewhere back here. Okay, so we got nine shielding there. What can we get eight? And sweeping beam the fish for it. Yeah, ball of lightning. Probably should have self-repaired, actually, now that I think about it. It's a decent block, but it's not. Uh, there's our genetic algorithm, now that we don't fucking need it. Um, darkness. Darkness. Version. Just to shuffle the darkness up. Charge battery. Doubt we're going to get to channel them, but you never know. Hologram. Wait, what? Where did my hologram go? What? I'm confused. What did I just do? Oh, I'm fucking dumb. I got shuffled last round. Fuck. Uh, I think I can still block it all. This would be 6, 12, 24, 27, 30. Yeah, I, I, I'm still fine. Uh, hell, I might not want to dual cast that. Yeah, that's still fine. More than enough. Wait for genetic and the heal? Yeah. Oh, there's, uh, heal. Full-headed, genetic algorithm. Recursion, and now we, all we have to do is cycle that once and he dies, or just wait, because, well, energy. No, I don't want an extra genetic algorithm. Loop's okay, but do we have time to play it? Or is this bloating yet again? Loop could be good with frost and dark orbs. Yeah. We don't really have any powers, do we? Let's pick this up. Rest. Rebound, maybe, but... Like... 
This gives us more of a chance for rebound darkness. Plus. And we get almost the same options before, basically. RNG hates me, by the way. So, just, just, just a note. We're gonna skip. Okay, first things first. I'm gonna drink this focus potion. We're gonna play out a early self-repair. Sweeping beam. I'm tempted just to strike him or defend. Strike while we have the vulnerable. A little extra damage, but not much. Okay. Also, I can't become frail, which is wonderful. God, I love that turn up. Yeah. Uh, so, cool headed plus. Darkness, darkness? But, oh god, I'm gonna take so much damage. I'm basically taking damage no matter what I do here. Unless I draw three cards. And get hologram genetic algorithm? I could drink that potion, and we could get hologram into genetic algorithm. That is an option. That would waste... That would mean we're not cycling to these, though. I'm gonna eat it. Okay. Bowl. Uh, cold snap. Bowl of lightning. Incursion. Defend blocks all of the damage, and I want these to sit here. I don't want them to be channeled yet. Oop. Double charge battery for another better turn. I'm wondering how far I can scale these dark orbs. Uh, oh crap. Genetic algorithm just got shuffled. Ah, uh, piss. Let's uh, drink that. Charge battery. Charge battery. That's 10. We're good. So I'm going to all lightning, strike, strike. Defend, defend, hologram, defend. Uh, good. Potion's also a good option. Okay. We're up to 78 and 51. That's pretty good damage, but like... I don't know. Do you think it's time to start evoking? Uh, ooh. Or 48 damage. I can do 148 plus recursion the 51 into a round. We should just cycle though. Gives 18 more damage each turn, yeah. the easiest way not to die here. Don't want to evoke these yet. I can defend plus it. Actually, cool-headed. That'll get me some more cards. Let's 
sweeping beam to see just in case of genetic algorithm. No, okay. Defend plus, let them keep scale. Perfect. Plus it's looping, too. God damn, of course I get genetic algorithm. Oh yeah, I know, I know it was full block. Yeah, all we have to do is get dual cast. His poor face. Damn. Okay, that does it. Uh, let's see. Buffer. Maybe. Don't think we have the energy to play it out, really. Core Surge is eh. Vision is nice. But is it worth it? If I can get this upgraded, it might be. But we're not really doing a cycle deck. We're kind of doing a just like live. So like buffer plus would be super, super good. Especially because we're just stalling for dark orbs at this point. should save us from a pinch yeah exactly that's my thought is like even if it takes up a slot it's still good add five cards to my deck nope extra energy give them strength pretty decent oh i was talking for about fission oh well shit uh Black Star is an option if we take a couple elites, but we'd have to take at least two elites, which I think we plan to do, but energy is so nice. The more we can play out, the more less death I am. The stone is suicide against the heart. The Philosopher's Stone? Why is it suicide against the heart? Uh, I know it gets one strength, but, uh, that's only one strength at the very start of combat. Does that increase the damage that the beat does? So, that makes sense, but... Hmm... Goes from 15, 30, 45 to 30, 45, 60. Oh, right, because it's doing so much. Ba it's doing so many attacks. Right. Okay. Well, since our plan is to try and get the... Oh, God, I hate him. Uh, Get to the heart. Okay. We need to take at least two elites to make it worth it. Pick up a store on the left, maybe? Are those the only stores? Oh, there's one here, too. Hmm. That right path isn't bad. Question mark, thing, lead. So that's elite fight, elite, back to back. Versus elite, heal, bunch of question marks. Left hand side's a lot more spread out. I think I'm going to take here two question marks. Uh, a store up here to the bonfire. Take the lead, another bonfire. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's definitely where I'm going. 
Okay. It's cool headed plus. So we already have 15 block. We sweeping beam, we can technically fish for another uh, block card. Which we did not get. Uh, so we can either loop or we can ball lightning plus or self repair. Huh. This fight shouldn't last long, hopefully. We can self repair with hologram. Yeah. I'm gonna just channel another lightning for now. There's our genetic algorithm, so rebound, darkness plus, genetic algorithm to block, we'll get darkness again. Full headed, darkness plus, charge battery blocks most of it, or we could just charge battery defend, blocks all of it. Charge battery Zap recursion Zap recursion Defend plus Defend Probably dead this turn just play buffer uh, and fish out self repair. So I won't take damage here and I won't take damage here. Perfect. Ball of lightning, dual cast, goodbye. <laughs> J guy, what the hell are you doing in the chat? Thousand shenanigans. Hmm. Sweeping beam plus is nice. Extra damage with draw. Those bow of lightning for more cycle and filling of the inserter nodes. Both of those are okay. Streamline is definitely not our option here. Hmm. I think I'm gonna skip. I don't need those, and they just loaded on up. We'll take the question mark. Oh no. Fuck. I think we should start removing lightning cards since they take space from frost and dark. Yeah. Well. I think we take, uh, I think we take the ride and just remove it up here at the store. Just so we can get the fuck out of here. Madness is an option. I'm pretty sure... Oh, that's just... Why would we do this? Never mind. Yeah. Let's get the fuck out of the labyrinth. Ooh! Okay, I'll take it. I shall try for it. We shall be spicy. Spicy meatballs. Okay, that covers all the damage. Zap. Version. Not the greatest opening hand, but... Okay. We're going to cool-headed.
Cool headed. That, that. We're up to nine block. They're only doing 26. So I don't want to play out this genetic algorithm yet. Not taking much damage, which is okay. These burns can get nasty real quick, though. Cool. Speaking of nasty turns. Okay. Um. Oh, fuck. I shouldn't have drank the potion. Fucking buffer. Wait, what? Did the fucking burn take my buffer? Oh, that's a pisser. Just my genetic algorithm. Okay, this is getting shifty real quick. Ah, uh, fudge. One of these needs to die. Hey, Shanti. Ow. Ho, ho. No, 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 no. I think I'm bo boned here. Oh, yeah, I'm totally boned. Unless these all hit him. I am dead. No, even if they hit him, I am... No, wait. Yes, no. Yes, I'm dead. Rest in peace. Restart. Restart and not take... Uh, I don't like to cheese runs. That's cheating, in my opinion. I'll take my defeat. It's about that time, anyways. Unfortunately, it's about 10.30, so... About time when I normally end the stream. It's been fun, though. I appreciate all of the uh, advice, though, Radassa. Definitely learned a lot this time around during sl my uh, run of Slay the Spire, so... Didn't get a heart fight, but... Uh... Yeah, also perfect timing for Shanti. I'm sorry, Shanti. Uh, but yeah, if you haven't already, please give a follow and join the Discord where my schedule is. Uh, I'll definitely be playing more Slay the Spire as like my off days. So I'll be, I generally play Slay the Spire when I just feel like hopping into something and not really like going too much into it. But yeah. So, either way, thanks for watching, and I appreciate y'all showing up. What's in store for tomorrow? Um, so, I believe it is Ocarina of Time tomorrow. Yeah, I have Ocarina of Time is scheduled for tomorrow. Monday, I haven't decided on what we're playing yet, so. Yeah. Could be interesting. At very And Streamlabs is fucking up. Thanks for following, uh, Rodasa. Streamlabs is doing this all the time, man. Oh, that's why. It's not part of my full cam layout. I should fix that. Uh, I'm just going to put it to this and, uh, make sure it plays your notification, because fair if it takes it away. There we go. Thanks for following. And I shall see you all tomorrow. And for more Slay the Spire around on Netflix. Thanks for watching.